The Director General of the Cuban Ministry of Foreign Affairs U.S. Division, Josefina Vidal, challenged attempts to blame the Caribbean nation for alleged acoustic attacks against American diplomatic personnel stationed on the island. At a press conference today, Vidal impugned the audience she had attended with the U.S. Senate Committee on Foreign Relations, which was centered on the incidents, and emphasized that there was no evidence these attacks had occurred. Se evidenció que el verdadero propósito de esta reunión, a la que fueron convocados tres funcionarios de alto rango del Departamento de Estado, no era establecer la verdad, sino imponer por la fuerza y sin evidencia alguna una acusación que no han podido demostrar. At the press conference, Vidal spoke on the meeting in Washington, in which three State Department officials admitted for the first time to not being sure whether the alleged sonic attacks suffered by 24 Americans in the Greater Antilles were an act of aggression, a claim they had previously sustained. As to this, Vidal stated that the Cuban government was not responsible for any of the claims made by the U.S., and that it has always seriously and rigorously complied with the obligations outlined in the Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations of 1961. Para el gobierno cubano resultan inaceptables las irresponsables declaraciones realizadas en la audiencia por el secretario adjunto para los asuntos del hemisferio occidental del Departamento de Estado, Francisco Palmieri. The alleged aggression against American diplomats has given President Trump's administration a reason to reverse the thaw in relations and obstruct the gradual normalization of bilateral relations between the two countries, which have been at odds since the end of the Cuban Revolution in 1959. Some U.S. diplomats to Cuba have been suffering from dizziness, migraines, hearing loss, and mild brain injuries during their time on the island. The issue was brought to global attention in August, whereupon Washington immediately ordered the withdrawal of 60 percent of its personnel from the Cuban embassy, and thereafter restricted travel to the island. Freer travel to Cuba and burgeoning bilateral relations had been a hallmark of former President Barack Obama's administration.